Hello everyone, welcome back to the Self-Defense and Street Boxing Science channel. Today we are going to talk about the peek and boo technique. And the peek and boo technique was very used by Mike Tyson. Everybody knows Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is a world, world champion, is a world master of boxing. Of course, this technique, peek and boo, was used by other, other, boxing, other boxing fighters, but the most famous is Mike Tyson, without a doubt, okay, without a doubt. So, the peek and boo technique is a technique with a tight defense and always looking for the holes in the opponent's guard. The teacher of Mike Tyson, Kaz Damato, teach, teach the him this technique. So, the guard is different because you use your arms and your hands in front of your mouth, like this, always in the same line. And then you will move left and right, always with your bridle and your head, like this. And what, what Mike Tyson does with, it, with this? He's always looking the left and the right of his opponent, looking for holes in his guard. And when you see the holes, he will strike. Normally with a cross and uppercut after, or with a cross, side hook and uppercut. So they are side strikes and also strikes of short distance. Why? Because he comes closer, always moving left and right, he comes closer and then he strikes. Normally, in our, in our guard, boxing guard, you are like this, so you are always exposed. The sides are exposed. So, from an opponent that uses a lot of front strikes it's a good technique because always moving you can avoid the, the opponent strike you can avoid the opponent strike and then strike back for example so the guard like this and then he is approaching and then cross uppercut this is one sequence, okay? So, this is a technique that is different. So, it's very useful against someone who doesn't know the technique and it's not used to it. So, it's gonna be confused because the opponent in his front always moving left and right. What is going to do? He can, of course, he can, he can try open a jab or a direct punch, but when his opponent avoids it, that's a hole. Because if you, if you are, for example, like this, you are exposed. The side is, is exposed, and you can explore that. Okay. Other sequence cross side hook, uppercut. So, in the guard, like this, always moving and approaching, because always moving and approaching. And then, cross, side hook, uppercut. This is another sequence very used by Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson is going to come back to boxing 
pipes to the rings and we are going to see we're going to see if it is going to use this, uh, this technique now he is 53 years old so we can do different technique different guard different moves so always left and right with the head and the quadro always approaching okay then cross uppercut or the other sequence so always approaching cross side hook uppercut so this is we can do technique very popular popularized by Mike Tyson teach by Casta Bato, his teacher and we're gonna see we're gonna see if next fight Mike Tyson is going to be using I think well I hope you enjoy the video so give a like questions you can make it comments subscribe and share the video time